once again. This is the rubber match. These guys have beat each other before in some huge situations, and I would say this one is as well, even though we're just in the round of 16. It will kick it away. Kratobin will get it. He's in the all-light blue Tennessee Titans uniforms, and he'll lay down at the 28-yard line, set those audibles, and get ready to go to work. Drini's going to be on that Dolphins defense coming out. Yep, and there's Drini in the Raiders offense, the second most popular playbook in this entire tournament. It is the perfect offense if you want a balanced attack where you can run the ball but also go to the pass. And Kratobin, Mo, he's running that West Coast offense. And he runs it. He's really, really patient on offense. He doesn't force a lot of mistakes. He's not as explosive as we see, you know, Skimbo being, but he doesn't make the same mistakes that we see from a lot of competitors. He's really, really composed. Big shout-out to the Madden fans out there, wherever you might be tonight. Thanks for making us a part of your day. And the Players' Lounge is excited for this one. There, there's almost not a seat in it. Even the newcomer Radiant back there. Uh, him, what's that, a Matthew Stafford hoodie? Or has he got, no, he's got the jersey over the top, long sleeves. There you go. We'll see some of those NFC boys tomorrow. But right now, it's all about the AFC. Little Jags and Titans. And it looks like Kratobin is set, and he's ready to go. The drive will start at the 28-yard line. He's now 30-12. and 12. And for the first time, crossed over the 60,000 dollar mark for his career not too bad for a guy that won his first major just a year ago hands it off to Chris Johnson the former East Carolina Pirate will actually lose a yard I never love to see people try to run the varsus dreamy he's so prepared for the run almost every year he's going to be able to stop that run especially this these typical run plays that he's used to seeing so that'll bring up a second and 11 Kratobin trying to take a shot here, it looks like. Andrew Luck, here comes the house! Oh. And he did, he had Chris Johnson wide open, but the house came, you know, he's not able to make that throw under pressure. But that was a really good call by Kratobin, just wasn't able to buy enough time. That would have been a huge game if he got that ball off accurately. So now a huge third down. Third and 11. Three and out would be something else if Drini can hold. Luck, clean pocket. And he'll somehow get out of there. And Ryan Shazier says hello and then scoops oh, it up. Man. And Drini's in business. Oh. oh, my goodness, Scott. Kratobin gets a little bit reckless with Andrew Luck. And Drini has that Ryan Shazier there ready to make a play. Punches him in the mouth. And Drini clutches up early in this game to take all of the momentum. That is going to be tough to come back from if you're Kratobin. Quite a momentum starter to start this thing off, Mo. Yeah, and that was phenomenal stick work in the pocket, but he got too greedy. He should have just got to that fourth and three and set him up for a manageable fourth down. Instead, he tries his juke out, Ryan Shazier, and you're just not going to be able to do that. Ryan Shazier forces the fumble and picks it up, something we don't see a lot of. And it was funny, talking to Kratobin, he said one of the things that he feels he has an advantage of over a lot of his opponents is he's clutch. He says, I feel I can out-clutch a lot of these guys in the tournament. The problem for him in this situation is there's also not many more guys clutcher than Trini, and his defense came up clutch for him right there on the first possession. So the 91 Ryan Shays here forces the fumble, and Trini will start with a short field at the 40-yard line. Hands it off to Eric Dickerson. And Dickerson will get to the sideline and force out of bounds at the 11. 29-yard gain. And this game has some serious Madden Bowl implications on it. You know, Drini didn't have the best showing at the Classic, so he really needs this win. You know, this isn't a game that Drini's going to take lightly. It's not like he's already locked into the Madden Bowl like we're used to seeing. He's got to win this game. Butter center goes Rivers, and it will go back to the same play, and this time it's bottled up. And if you're Kratobin, you need a lock up here. He said the key to his success in this tournament is playing stingy defense. He says no one in this division has an explosive offense, so if I can at least contain them and hold them to threes, I'll have a high chance for success. So he needs to back that up right here in the red zone. And after the gain of 29, it's a loss of four. Goes back to Dickerson. And he goes against the grain and spins his way down to the nine. 
And I know Dreedy picked up six yards right there, but that was really good stick work by Kurtova. That could have easily been a touchdown. He was really, really patient with that Tillman, realizing that he wasn't going to be able to stop that run in the backfield and just kind of waited for him to come to him and make that tackle. So now here comes third down. Dickerson out the backfield. Drini Come on. can't get rid of it as Cameron Wake comes up with a sack, and he's going to have to get his boot out here. It's going to be a 33-yard field goal. And the kick is up, and it's good. So the first points go to Drini. But that, if you're Kurtobin, that's best-case scenario after you you turn the ball over in your own side of the field. You, you hold him to three. Drini's a phenomenal player. You do not want to give up a touchdown that early on the game after you get stopped your first drive. Way to stand up for yourself. You kind of kept yourself back in this game. So the turnover leads to points, but it's only three. Be interesting to see what Kratobin can get done on offense. He has very mediocre statistics. He's like the middle of the pack in all offensive categories. Well, Drini, I believe, is ranked number two in total defense. He's top five in pass, offense, in pass defense and run defense. So it's going to be interesting to see what Kratobin can do to get this offense going against the elite defense of Drini. And there is Pat Tillman. The tackle supreme. Makes the big hit. It's going to be a loss of a yard. It's going to mark him down at the 26. So now a second and 11 for Katobin after the fumble. Second possession, and the screams on the outside. And Jones is going to get home. That's just frustrating. When you're in that gun punch, you know that nickelback is going to be coming at you when they're in that dollar defense. More often than not, you usually see guys pick it up that He's time. It's free play. He's got yeah, the corner up too. Oh, he threw it late. And it's going to be picked off by Tillman, but I think they're going to replay this down as Jonathan Jones was off sides. I think if he throws that at the right timing, he's going to be able to convert that first down. He throws it a little bit late. Drini's guy makes the play, and now you still got to convert on third and long. So third and 11 to go. 126 left in the first. For Tobin. Picks up the first down with Andrew Luck. Happy to see him get down right there. You know, you pick up the first down, you got to get down with your quarterback, though. Really big play right there by Kurtobin, keeping himself alive. Defense has been stingy here in the first quarter. And this 2-3-6 will doesn't stop the run very good. Even the sweep is going to get a lot of yards versus 2-3-6 will. I'd like to see Kurtobin try to stretch him out here with that, with that sweep out of the backfield, Chris Johnson. See if he auto's down here on... First down from the 38. Two belt winners battling it out. Here's a round of 16. He's going to go to that sweep, I think. Should have some space outside. And there's Johnson. He runs into Shazier. And we got an important second and six coming up. He picks up four yards, but Drini's stick works just way too good. You know, he had the blockers out there, but Drini just avoids them all. Goes and makes the tackle himself. You know, we see a lot of guys click off, and, you know, they, their defenders get juked out, then everybody wants to complain about it. Drini takes the game into his own hands. He's going to go ahead and make that tackle himself, and that's why he's one of the best players in the game every single year. And it, remember, it's going to be hard to run on Drini because he has the two tack, uh, secure tacklers in Shazier and Troy P, and then he also has Tillman with that tackle supreme. So those are a lot of guys that are going to be able to secure that ball carrier and not allow any big runs. So at the end of one... Just a field goal between Drini and Kurtobin here in the AFC. Trying to make their way to the final eight. We already got Joke and Skimbo facing off on Thursday. And we still got one more game coming your way after this. If you're Kurtobin, you got to air out this ball. You're in the West Coast playbook for a reason. You didn't choose it so you could run the ball every play. Drini's shown that he's going to be able to stop the run himself. No reason to continue to go back to it. He's got to pick up this blitzer. This is the guy that came off the edge last time free. Gave Kratobin all kinds of trouble. you got to pick up that edge blitz. It's going to be Tony and Pavin. It's your final game of the night. Luck can't escape. And brought down at the 26-yard line. That's just good defense right there from Drini. Kratobin picks up the blitz, has a little bit of time, nothing there, runs back and has to take the sack. And once again, Drini's top five defense comes through for him. 
But that was set up by Kurtobin kind of wasting it down there. Back to back downs, he got stopped in the backfield running the ball. You know, Drini only had to play defense for one down. If you're Kurtobin, you got to make it tough on Drini. You can't be predictable like that. Drini's got an opportunity maybe here to take the rest of this time in the half and then get the ball to start the third. Dickerson just kind of stumbles his way through the line to the 37. It's a gain of four. And if you're Kratobin, you need to keep your eyes on this guy right here. It's that Eric Dickerson. That's the key to Drini's offense. That's who he wants to get the ball in the hands of. He said, if he has a big game, big tournament, I'm going to have a big tournament. you got to stop him if you're Kratobin. And there is Dickerson. Spins back toward the middle of the field. And his knee went down at the 43. So they're going to say he's just shy. Just a reminder, that's the 95 overall Eric Dickerson. No abilities, but still 76 cap. And it looks like Drini's found something with this run play. You know, that strong tie formation, or formation I ran a lot of at the Madden Classic, wasn't able to get stopped in the backfield very often, and Drini's not either right now. Just continue to go back to it. Something we see from a lot of players, they like to switch up their formation for no reason. Not Drini, he's way too smart for that. If he finds a run that's going to work, he's going to continue to go back to the well. And, and that Eric Dickerson, I mean, Drini did the right move in taking him. He has all the power to fall forward, but the way he has him powered up and with the sprinter cam, he's 95 speed. So he's also one of the most powerful and fastest players on the field. That is a great roster move by Drini. Drini getting his 60th win earlier today against Mills when he faced off against the Texans club champion and Kratobin getting his 30th win already. My guy Kratobin, he gets locked in. He has some laser focus right there, huh? Big third down. Dickerson oh. will pick it up. They will move the chains at the 39. And this is kind of what I saw coming, Mo. I think he's just going to try to clock out this quarter. Maybe yeah. even get three here. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see Kratobin get the ball back unless Drini scores a touchdown. And if you're Kratobin, yep, I, would, I was just going to say you got to use your timeouts now. you got to try to get Drini off the field right here. Even though he's already in field goal range, you got to get him off the field. It could be the fourth quarter before he gets the ball back. Oh, no. Dickerson breaks oh. a tackle. King falls to the ground. And Dickerson is in for six. If you're Drini Joker, you just know how to win John Madden football games. He keeps the ball in the hands of his best player, continues to execute, and now he's got Kratobin down two possessions against one of the best defensive players in the world. If you're Christian Lomenzo, a.k.a. Kratobin, the pressure is on. Good blocks on the right side, especially by John Runyon. And then you break a couple tackles here, Mo. Yeah, we seen him motion out that fullback, Ryan Shazier, actually. And, you know, it sent that safety to the other side. That's why we seen that stretch. He just had the numbers over there and all, it left Eric Dickerson with a one-on-one. -on -one. If he's able to get break free of that tackle, it's going to be a touchdown. And it's a fumble. Nearly gave it away. And Drini's just all over Kurtobin right now. He's got to find a way to stand up for himself and convert a few first downs. So that makes it a second and 12. Two timeouts remaining for both Drini and Kratobin, and he's going to burn one right now. He made it really tough for himself to get points before half using that timeout. You just can't afford to lose that timeout right now. And you put yourself in a situation where it's going to be really tough not to make a mistake in this situation. This is the guy you've been having to watch out for right off of that edge. This time they're able to pick it up. Gets away from the pressure. And eventually brought down at the 31. Andre Branch, the former Clemson Tiger, will bring him down as Harrison. And we'll stop the clock with four seconds to go in the half. And you need a Hail Mary. And I love what Drini did right there. A lot of players, they'll use that timeout and give their, give their opponent a chance to score. But he didn't burn a timeout. He realized that it was going to be really tough for Kurtobin to score anyways. Just goes ahead, doesn't burn that timeout, and makes Kurtobin use that timeout where it's almost impossible for Kurtobin to get points now. So 10 to nothing. Been all business for Drini here in the first half. 
Got a field goal off a turnover. And then a long, methodical drive that was capped off by Eric Dickerson. And that's how the first half will come to a close. Ten to nothing. In favor of Draney. Who now enjoys a 10-point lead. It's a shutout here in the first half. As we take a, another peek into the Snickers Lounge, you can see. We talked about the cash a lot, but Mo, you were talking about those MCS points because Trini didn't play well at the Classic. Yeah, and he needs all these MCS points he can get. He's probably going to have to get a top four finish to feel comfortable going into the, having a good chance of making that Madden Bowl. That top eight might do it for him, but this game is huge. He's he's already in the top 16. If he can win this game, he gets an extra 100 points. These, these points are huge in this tournament. Trying to set himself apart. All leading up to the Madden Bowl. Of course, Challenge will be coming your way. Around Super Bowl time. Andrini will take it from his own 14. And DeMarco will just get out of bounds at the 29. And this could be everything, RG. Yeah, if you're Kratobin, you need to play defense here. You need to stop the run. You have full Troy Palomalu, full Toman. Both of them with tackle supreme. You came into this game ready to stop the run. Now you need to show you can do it because Dickerson has been running wild so far in this game. You need to get a stop and get yourself back in this ball game because if Drini gets seven right here, that is going to be one tough hill for Kratobin to climb. That's the voice of RG, who was good at this game back on Sega Genesis. And Sirius Mo, who's won two belts. Same, same. <laughs> Second and eight. Paulson will come across the formation. And Dickerson will go nowhere. You got Drini in the first tough position he's been in in the entire game. But Drini, he's the type of player where he'll run and punt, you know what I mean? If he realizes that you can't move on offense, he's going to just try to take as much clock as possible, not make any mistakes on his own offensive side of the ball. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a pass here, or a run here, excuse me. See if Kurtobin can get Drini off the field here on a third and eight. Phillip Rivers, the former NC State Wolfpack quarterback. will sling it to the outside, and that quick throw is, hasn't worked all year. Yeah, just you're not going to be able to do that this year. You know, those wheel routes have been overpowered for years. They finally made it really tough for you to complete those passes on the sideline quickly. And, you know, Kurtobin, you just got yourself right back in the game. You only took off a minute and 20 seconds. You're literally right back in this game. But you got to find something on offense. The plays you've been running haven't been working. you gotta, you got to just lock in, make an adjustment here, and drive down the field and get seven points. He's had some issues in the first half, picking up the pressure. This time, Luck gets to the outside. Good spy, and Jones will end up wrapping him up. That's that 80 overall Jonathan Jones, who's been terrorizing Andrew Luck. Yeah, Trini rolled out. It looked like he was going to go to the receiver and get open mode as soon as he tried to cock back to throw it. Defense was in his face, on Trini's defense in Kratobin's face. Remember, I'm Wild was a former Jacksonville Jaguars champion. And to use his terminology, it's a box. It's a box. It's a. Third and 23. What play you got here, Mo? You're asking the wrong guy, Scott. <laughs> uh, I'm not very good in these situations. Unfortunately, I find myself in them a lot. But Kurtobin has, cannot get anything going right now. And quick throw, Marvin Harrison. Gets it out past the 30, and I think you got to go. You know, it seems like that, but I would almost be more comfortable on defense at this point, even down 10 nothing, because Drini's not giving up anything. You got to find a lapse in this defense, though. You got to find a way to open it up. Motion's out Hill. Fourth down and eight. And he'll buy time with luck. Throws on the move, and what a play by Tillman. And and a lot of time, he's having time to, to throw the ball, but guys just aren't getting open. It's probably because Drini doesn't spend a bunch of cap on offense like we're, like we're used to seeing from a lot of players. So he's able to spend more cap on his defense. Ooh, what a user hit stick right there. Yeah, Drini spent 471 cap on the defensive side of the ball. 
And what I'm seeing from Trini, though, even though that defense is tanked, he's setting it up the same way every time, and he's mixing up his coverage. Sometimes he's sending the slot corners. Sometimes he's dropping them back. He's doing a real good job of keeping Kratomit off balance, setting the defense up the same way, but doing different adjustments each play. Touchdown here would be game. Got to hold him to three if you're Kratomit. Dickerson, nowhere to go. That's a loss of six. Drini's going to run the ball here. He's just going to take his field goal. He doesn't want to get sacked out of field goal range, and he wants to get to the fourth quarter. If you're Kratobin, you kept yourself alive in this game again, but you've got to find a way to go down and get seven points. Dickerson spins back inside, and they're going to mark him down at the 30. And we got a – was that a timeout? That's a rage timeout right there, you know what I mean? Like, you're just trying to get the ball back as fast as possible. You do not want to see 30 seconds tick off this clock. You know, it doesn't really give you any benefit. If anything, it hurts you. But, you know, Kratoma just can't stand seeing Drini milk that clock down. I've been there before, but you got to stay poised and just go to the fourth quarter. I'm with Mo on that one. That's a full tilt timeout. Especially this year because when you get out of bounds in the fourth quarter, the clock's going to stop. So if Kratoma picks up 20 yards right here, it's going to be the end of the quarter anyway. So I, I, I don't love it. If, it. if it was the fourth quarter and he threw for 20 yards pass and got out of bounds, the clock would be stopped. So you're really just hurting yourself by burning that timeout. So only two remaining to go the rest of the way. Trailing 13 to nothing. Hasn't got anything going on offense. And Hester will get bottled up at the 32. That's a gain of three. And we might get one more play in here before the end of the quarter. And he will. Luck. Fires it to the outside, and that brings us to the end of the third quarter. Put your fours up here in San Francisco. We're headed to the fourth quarter, presented by Snickers. Oh, no, no, no pressure. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. 13 to nothing. Draney pitching a shutout against Kratobin. Who's got a first and 10 at the 39 yard line. Two timeouts remaining. Sky Cole, Sirius Mo, RG. Going three wide here for the final frame between these two belt winners. And I'll tell you, pitching shutouts is nothing new to Trini. On his road to get here, he had two shutouts. And before he played Mills, he went 5-0 and and outscored his opponents 120 to 21. 99-point differential for him. The guy knows how to play some defense. Luck swings it to the outside. They're swaying to the 47. And here's a third and two. The funny thing here is as dominant as Drini has been, one touchdown from Kratobin, and he's all the way back in ball game. And that would be frustrating for Drini to be this dominant. And he throws Whoa, that boy. one into coverage. And Tyreek Hill able to pull it in at the 29. And that's a big catch right there by Tyreek. Tyreek Hill literally keeping Kratobin alive in this game. And like RG said, if he's able to get seven, he's right back in the game because Drini doesn't have the best offense. Remember, I told you in Draney's earlier game today, he makes the most defensive adjustments pre-snap. Got him. Whoa. And you can just hear that controller click clacking. And it's another sack. It's the fourth of the game for Jonathan Jones. I thought we were going to see Kratobin try to throw that deep post, but he just ran out of time. Draney's pressure got there. And Draney plays the best defense out of any Madden competitor year in, year out. It truly is amazing. Luck will roll to the left. And he'll slide down in front of Shazier at the 26. Field goal does you nothing. Yeah, four down territory for short for Kratobin. This big third and seven. But if you could just keep this going, keep this offense alive, get yourself a touchdown. I'm telling you, as poised as Dreamy is, he'll have to be feeling the pressure. Need seven. Kratobin oh. makes it outside. And pass says thank you very much bye Felicia Drini just putting on a defensive clinic
touchdown, Drini. He's about to go up 20. And you know, he has that Pat Tillman playing outside corner. Normally we see Pat Tillman playing that safety, laying big hits on people, but he puts Pat Tillman in coverage. Probably his best defender anyways in coverage. And he was in the flat zone right there, able to come down and make a pick six. Well, he goes for two, looks down at the coaching chart and says, yeah, go for it. 21 to nothing. And I'm with Mo. High level Madden is about having some dirtbag tendencies. And Drini went straight dirtbag, putting Tillman out there in the corner, ready for any flat route. Usually you want him to take the guy's head off. Instead, he jumps it for a big interception. And look at that. That's professional dirtbagism right there from Drini. Well done. Pat Tillman has been a force just for about six weeks of this tournament. And I notice every time Mo sees Pat Tillman, he... I flinch a little bit, I'm yeah, not going to yeah. lie. It's okay. We're here for you. As luck gets to the outside, it's a three-score game. And, you know, it's not like Kurtobin's missing people. These guys just simply aren't open. You know, I don't know how Drini does it, but these guys are covered. They are bagged. A lot of these routes are being double covered. And that's the thing, Drini puts in the time. He knows what routes are going to get guarded by what defenders and what got, what guys man-to-man -man have to be, how fast they need to be. He's as prepared as they come on the defensive side of the ball. And I'm telling you, he set up this defense the same way every single time, but I don't know if the guys have dropped back into coverage the same way once. I got a view of his play arts and the adjustments he uh, is making is completely insane. One minute it's cross man, one minute they're blitzing, one minute it's cross man with a whole bunch of people in zone. It's literally insane of amount of adjustments every play. And Scott, you called it. It's why he makes the most amount of adjustments out of any competitor in this tournament. And we're seeing him put a clinic on with it right now. And he calls one of the least defensive number of plays, about 3.8 defensive plays per game but it's the customization thereafter that what makes him great is Luck. Now six carries, 44 yards. But this was almost all but done with Pavin and Tony coming up next. And even right there on that play, he had been playing a lot of coverage, only sending four, and then he just sent the house just to give Kratobin a completely different look. It is a defensive guru at work right now when we're talking young Drini Joker. And yes, if you're watching, this one will be up on the Madden Competitive YouTube later on if you want to try to break down this defense by Drini. You know, that's the thing. You're just never going to be able to because his tendencies, he's just so good at picking up on players' tendencies. He almost knows what play Kurt Tobin's going to call before he's calling it. He's so prepared. I mean, there's just nothing open. And it's a fumble, and Kurt Tobin will recover. And it's going to bring up a fourth down from the 40. And I just want to say, it's not even just the ad adjustments on this big fourth and 12. It's his ability to make them. The way he clicks around so quick, it's like he never gets quick tight despite making all these adjustments pre-play. It's just high-level skill. And Luck's going to try to run for it. And it's loose. It'll be a first down. Ball we fumbled out of bounds at the 25, first and 10. That's the definition of fighting. Katrina, he's up 21. Still just laser focused in here. And luck will go down again. Jonathan Jones is a problem. Five and a half sacks. I would almost guarantee he doesn't have five and a half career sacks. You know, that's, that's pretty amazing. Here's Luck. Well, get it to Marvin Harrison and a good move to the 10 yard line. First and goal. And if you're Gratobin, this had to be frustrating. You were just about to get yourself back in the ball game. You went from having some momentum, trying to make it, you know, interesting, and then you throw that pick six. That just, like, had to completely destroy his morale. That's when you want to just put the sticks down and walk away. He's turned it over twice in this game. And those have led to 10 Drini points. But he's actually fumbled the ball quite a bit. 
Yeah, but, you know, Drini's playing great defense, and he's making his quarterback just kind of stick in the pocket and take these sacks. And when you do get tackled by Avita Vea from behind, with you, when you're Andrew Luck, you are going to let the ball go a few times. And three fumbles. He recovered two of those, and he'll throw that one into the crowd. So here comes a third and goal from the four. Drini trying to hold on to the shutout. And he'll use a timeout. No timeouts remaining now for Kurtobin. And he'll get into the I formation. Tyreek Hill solo to the left. And Luck will be bagged at the 11. Here comes fourth down. Looked like he had his tight end wide open for a touchdown, but, you know, you're just uncomfortable playing right now. Drini's just got you all shook right now, and that's what happens. And he'll get the playoff. Final play of the game. And it's going to be picked off by Shazier. And that'll cap it off. Drini wins the, drop, the rubber match between him and Kurtobin. Ten sacks in this game, guys. Take a look at the highlights. Jonathan Jones had more than half of those. That's Drini and Kratobin. Three belts among them, but Eric Dickerson making a huge play right here. Yeah, and Drini told us the key to my success is going to be Eric Dickerson, and boy, did he put Drini on his back. And Andrew Luck trying to get outside, but Pat Tillman swatting, making plays. And none bigger than that. Yeah, that was the theme of the game. You know, Kurtobin was having time to find guys open, but no one was running open. The coverage was so good. So he kind of forced a pass right there to the flat, and Pat Tillman's not going to have any of that. And that was the ball game right there. It's a shutout. 21 to nothing. So Drini gets through Mills by four, and then totally shuts down Kurtobin with a shutout. He'll be moving on, trying to see, will he be facing... Pavin or Tony, and Drini is hanging out with Evan. Thanks, Scott. I've got Drini here. Congratulations, first of all, on winning that game. It was a defensive effort from beginning to end. Talk to him about it. I mean, if you guys don't know, man, like, a bunch is the biggest thing that I lab <laughs> against. So, you know, if there's one thing I don't want, you know, to kill me and right. to take me out of the tournament, it's a bunch. It's like the most, you know, used pass-heavy offense. So you definitely want to be prepared for that. So, you know, I practiced so much versus Ghost. You know, he's running a bunch. Uh, even Rage was, you know, th these are my lab partners. Right, and, right. Yeah. And they, they were just helping me, you know, with the adjustments with a bunch. And, you yeah. Know, shout out to them. So you were ready. I mean, you were ready for what you were going to see, and it didn't seem like anything phased you. Kurtobin had a chance to come back, but you got that pick six, yeah. obviously. And that let's take a look at it on the board, because that pretty much changed the momentum and almost sealed the game for you. Yeah, right here, he just thought that was a deep third, so he threw a flat route, thought Tillman was going to drop back. But it was a soft squat, and he literally just, like, as soon as he threw the ball, he just, you know, snapped on it and got the pick, and, you know, like, that was, that sealed the game. Good old Pat Tillman. That feels good for sure. And I think, uh, obviously, you have an approach that we don't always see a very defensive heavy player spending over 400 cap on your defense. Do you think this is something that, you know, you're, you're going to have trouble with on any lineup particularly? Does this have its strengths and weaknesses against who you might be facing? coming up yeah that, that was the reason why I got Max Troy Palomalu and Max Pat, uh, Pat Tillman um, they're both really good in coverage mm. and they're super fast so they're gonna help me on the run and the pass no matter who I play against they're gonna be beneficial for me so you know that's what got you know went through my mind when right. I picked those two and uh, you know I had a, I have a lot of speed out there Denzel yeah Dion William Jackson all speedy guys and uh, you know they made plays for me tonight yeah and I'm happy to be in the final eight. No one's getting by him, man. And, of course, huge payday as well. Earn yourself an extra $10,000. But let's look forward because no one wants to stop here. You know, yeah. Everybody wants to win this thing. So, speaking of matchups, we've got Pavin and young Tony, who you may be facing in the AFC West. Anybody you'd rather play? Any thoughts on that matchup particularly uh, that's going to be decided pretty soon? Honestly, Pavin, uh, the champion from last you year. Take him down. <laughs> I want to take him down. Uh, you know, he already has 100K under his name. You know, he's a... Uh, 
know, he solidified himself as yep. an elite Madden player, so it'll be cool to take him down. But, you know, it's, uh, they both run bunch. Yeah. I, I, I should be prepared for both of them, no matter who comes out of it. So, yeah. All right. Well, you'd like to get to Poppin'. I think that'd be a fun matchup for everybody to watch as well. Overall, just looking into it, you, you mentioned representing Jacksonville for a very specific reason. Talk yeah. a little bit about that and just beyond Madden and, and you know, the, the cap and all that. Why uh, you feel like you want to go ahead and win this tournament? Yeah, I told you as soon as I won the Jags Club Series, man, every win from here on out is for True Boy. Uh, yeah. You know, he was a close friend of mine when he was here. So, you know, every, you know he, he represented the Jaguars the first time he could. Yeah. Because I think like 2017, he represented them. So, you know, I felt like it'd been cool to try to represent them and make a far run and just everything for him. Worthy goal, man. Yeah. Congratulations and uh, good luck Thank heading you. on into the future. We're going to send you off, get ready for some matchups that are coming up a little later. Drini's going to take a bit of a rest, but that's three of the four divisions in the AFC. <laughs>